Karabakadikin is an overnight boys camp uh, over in Medford Lakes where you can either stay for one or two weeks in a, you know, a basic wood, completely wood cabin. Um, My name is Christopher Damra, and I've been going to camp for about 10 years now. My name is Alex Lacavera. Um, I've gone to camp uh, since I was seven years old. I'm Max Fisher. Um, I've been going to camp for about 12 years now. Hi, I'm Andrew Zinni. I've been going to camp for around a little less than two years. My name is Ethan Hartley. I've been going to camp for about six years now. See, since I've been going there for so long, camp is kind of like its own family, I would say, to me. I mean, like, because of like the people you're with, like from the beginning, you like stay with them like, all the way through these ten years. So it's like we kind of make friends that keep returning to you, in sort of way. We just we just develop bonds with people. And stuff. So camp is definitely it's a community, and it's it's definitely a family. Camp, camp's a family. To me, camp is a place that I can definitely call home. And a lot of people might say that, but um, camp's actually pretty close to where I live. I live in the town that camp's in. Uh, and it's always really astounded me that literally five minutes from my house, there's a place with people as great as camp has to offer. You know, I've always thought, I've always been, so it's always blown my mind when I come to camp and see all international people from all over the world and it's five minutes from where I live. Like, that's just crazy to me. And it means a lot. Um, I've been going here for, like I said, 12 years and I just keep wanting to come back. My dad, he's been coming here, you know, since the, like, the 80s and the 70s. He made so many close friends that I've come to know. And it's just that, you know, we both won a blue feather here, which is like the highest honor. So it means a lot because we keep wanting to come back. It's like a second home, you know. Like, yeah. I've only been going for two years, but I've been you know, super close to like ten guys. And, yeah, there's been a lot of like good memories, a lot of good times, and hopefully more to come. It's it's really a great opportunity to meet so many new people. I mean, I can na literally name 50 people that I wouldn't be friends with who I'm really close with that if it weren't for camp, I would have no way of knowing, so. Uh, well, to me, it's pretty much taught me that we're not the kids anymore. Like, you know, we're 16, 17. We have to, we're like, we don't that. We have to, we have more responsibilities. We have to own up to our own problems. So, yeah. We talk about this thing sometimes at camp called an invisible backpack. That's basically all the baggage that you carry around with you and all, you, from all your experiences, be good or bad, and not everyone can see it. No one knows what you've been through. You don't know what the person next to you has been through. So it's just, it's taught me to be empathetic to people um, and just know that uh, not everyone may be what they seem. People, just because someone might be acting some sort of way doesn't mean they're a bad person or something. It could just be what they're going through. Uh, the people, honestly, um, the people that you meet, um, you know, they're, they're special, they're um, one of a kind, you could say. Um, it's, really, it's really hard to find people like that other places, especially, you know, where you, where you go, like, every day, um, especially school. You know, people are like what they are at camp. Nobody's at camp, you have the real opportunity to be yourself, and people are very accepting of that because, um, you know, it's just sort of that place. Um, it just gives that vibe that says, you know, I don't have to hide anything here. Um, I can be open, I can be myself, and I know, like, I will fit in fine, you know. Um, it's a really nice tradition. We have really great traditions here, like our blue feather opening ceremony. Those are probably the coolest thing I thought when I was a first year. And it's just a summer camp, you know, you get away from all the technology and you get to just, you know, you live how you can live when you're you know, kind of just with your brothers, which is what, you know, I call them my friends. So it just, it's a good learning experience. So you get to learn a lot of cool things, like how to swim, if you haven't swam before, how to climb the rock wall, a challenge course, or just shooting a bow and arrow. It's like, you can do anything you want here. Camp gets you different experiences outside of the typical normal daily life. The thing about it is that you go to camp, you, you experience something other than typical, like 
like day to day routine that you would really do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it gets you outside. But, like, even for the kids today, they're just all like, you know, like video games and stuff like that, and just like, stay inside all the time. The camp gets you outside. It gets you like socialized social skills. Yeah, exactly, social skills. And it it, it it truly just it's it takes you to some other place. It's, it's like different. It's different. Yeah. That's what camp just go.